Here's your subconscious, right? We need to trick our subconscious if we want to get ourselves into a position where we can do all the little things we want to do and make the changes we want to move. And here's how your subconscious works, right? Your subconscious has a single job, and that job is to keep you alive. It's not trying to keep you happy. It's not trying to keep you productive. It's not trying to keep you wealthy. It's not trying to get you ahead with your goals. All it wants to do is keep you alive, and this is how your subconscious works. Rob is alive. I win. And that's all your subconscious knows. It also works like this. Everything Rob has ever done in his entire life has kept him alive. Therefore, everything he has ever done is what has kept him alive. Any change to that could kill him. Eating broccoli could kill him. Shutting off his computer, turning off his internet, after he has answered all of the emails and played four video games on Facebook and got his Facebook stuff done, if he turns it off then, he could die. And that's what our subconscious believes. Any change could kill us. We need to trick our subconscious. Because our subconscious believes that everything we have done has kept us alive and therefore nothing must change. The thing that makes the moment to moment decisions in your life, the minute to minute, second to seconds, the little decisions that make up your life, doesn't want you to change. It's clearly vested in you not changing. We have to trick it. We need to fool it. This is how we do it.